I do not need a divorce attorney to get out of my narcissistic relationship. But what I do need is a hostage negotiator. And here's why. Number one, escaping a narcissist relationship is like escaping a demonic relationship, is escaping a Jezebel spirit relationship. And it's escaping the actual bride of Satan. So you want to escape your narcissistic prison reigned and given authority over you by the Antichrist and the demonic principalities that run the show. So you want to leave and divorce your satanic relationship with a spouse, a husband or a wife, a mother or a father, a stepmother or father, your friends, your church associates, boyfriend or girlfriend, your boss, your coworkers, management at work, your family of origin, your social network. The rules and situation to expect when you leave these, these satanic relationships are as follows. Be prepared for fierce retaliation and outbursts of wrath when you escape their antichrist spiritual covering. How dare you leave the family business, the family unit, we're blood. How dare you leave the marriage? How dare you leave this church? How dare you leave your friends and abandon them? How dare you leave your social network? This is in allegiance with the kingdom of darkness, and we expect you to be our ally. We expect to have full worship and allegiance to us, the kingdom of darkness. This type of bondage in a relationship with the demonic principality is exactly like the mafia. If you decide to leave the mafia and leave the kingdom of darkness, we will ally with our other demons and our other minions through other human souls. And we will, number one, we will isolate and ostracize you from our network, our channels, our church, our community, our nonprofits, any organization that you belong to. Number two, we will assassinate your character and your good identity by the demons assigned to do this job. Highly trained and sophisticated and smart demons that are highly manipulative. We will unleash and release a network of demons of number one, character assassination, intimidation, tyrant, bullies, domination spirits, oppressive and overbearing spirits, control spirits, manipulation, and deception. These are the spirit personalities of the giants, the children of Satan. This is their personality and the negative personality, the word that describes the spirit is what these spirits are. The fallen angels' children. God destroyed Satan's offspring with the flood of Noah and they're still very angry that God killed their children. So they hate human souls and that we can reproduce and have children. This is why they love a nine and a half month abortion law that was recently passed in January in New York City and in Washington, D.C. We will work together as a network to a common goal of allegiance to the kingdom of darkness against you, the children of God. We can't risk that you will expose us to the world what we really are, children of the kingdom of darkness, whom and whom we represent, which is Satan, the fallen rebellious angel, and our dark agendas for this world, because we are on assignment and we are in allegiance to those assignments because a house divided against itself cannot stand. We are always committed and loyal to the kingdom of darkness and its agenda to destroy and steal and kill the children of God. The Satanist witches warlocks in our network that are worshiping the beast and Satan will stay connected with our agenda and do all of our bidding and maintain allegiance to the kingdom of darkness at all times. We will identify the things you love, usually your children, and we will steal, kill, and destroy them and you, killing two birds with one stone. It is our inclination towards evil, bad, and wickedness. This is what we are and what we have introduced into the human reality. 
We scheme, plot, plan to steal, kill, and destroy everything you need and destroy all the blessings and all the gifts that Jehovah and Jesus and the Holy Spirit have given you because we are jealous and blessed and you represent the light of God and we don't have any of those things because we have chosen a rebellious pagan God. You must remember you are a hostage of the kingdom of darkness. Whether you are married to us, in a relationship with us, we are your boss. We are your bank. We hold you captive by any and every means at our disposal from the kingdom of darkness. You are our slaves. We own you. You do not have an identity in Christ. You belong to us and our network and are identified with Satan, the rebellious angel. We will assassinate your character and identity in Christ as sons of God. We will have you arrested. If you do a PPO, a personal protection order against us, when you engage with us and break your own PPO and violate that PPO, we will have you arrested by violating that order. I had a friend who violated her PPO because she got pregnant. She went to jail because of that. Child services and court officers will be notified of your evil ways. Child and court officers and services through the domestic abuse hotline, which you are calling for support, they will take your children because of failure to protect. Child services will take your children for failure to protect. So they're trying to kill you and if your children are in the house, you will be punished because they deem you as failure to protect. So you'll be punished for what the narcissist is doing behind closed doors. Child Protective Services worship the kingdom of darkness and we support them. They protect the narcissist, the Satanist, and they protect the Jezebel spirit to destroy the family and to destroy God's people financially, morally, and detach them from children. If you are planning to leave the Satanist because you have found another person of God that can love you God's way, we will kill that person. Now we might not kill them physically, but we can access witchcraft and do things that are not considered murder, if you know what I mean. If you want to protect those that you love from the wrath of Satan, don't leave or abandon the kingdom of darkness. Don't ask those fake ass Christians to help you because they can't, because they don't even know what we really are. Because most of them are part of our network. They're completely clueless though. No one can or will be able to help you leave. Anyone that helps you to leave us will be targeted, being stolen from, killed or destroyed by any means we can access through the kingdom of darkness, through any person or organization or police force. You are crazy and you and we and I am the victim. Satan is the victim. I am Satan the serpent whom deceives the whole world and I am a victim. You can through repentance, forgiveness and breaking unholy soul ties and renouncing the kingdom of darkness is not in the narcissist vocabulary. I am the father of being a victim. Therefore, I can justify that I must steal, kill, and destroy everything you are so that I feel justified in my actions as a colossal victim. My father, Satan, is pleased with me when I am in line and in agreement with the kingdom of darkness to steal, kill, and destroy you and everything you love and need. I repent, forgive, break unholy soul ties, renounce the kingdom of darkness, and surrender to Jehovah Jesus and his Holy Spirit. I bind the strong man of Satan, Jezebel, Mammon, Baal, and Moloch. I plunder all the goods of the works of the flesh that they use and they that they use to gain strongholds in our human souls. We destroy the house of captivity over us, the children of God, through all the strong man, the demonic principalities, all the works of the flesh that bind strongholds. We destroy all the house built by the kingdom of darkness. We destroy their strongholds, their pyramids, the works of the flesh that they utilize. We destroy all the evil works in the houses and we release all the fruits of the spirit into our human soul. And we renounce all the works of the flesh 
that we have participated in willingly or unwillingly. We are in agreement to repent of our sins, known and unknown. We are in agreement to forgive our enemies and institutions and anyone that has hurt us. We are in agreement to break all the unholy soul ties and renounce the kingdom of darkness. We are in agreement to surrender our human souls to Jehovah, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we have access to the power of the Father.